Hello, and welcome back to another review, and to celebrate what is now going to be uh, unofficially referred to as Rise of the Beasts Day, which was yesterday, June 9th, uh, the release of the film world worldwide, we're going to be taking a look at the Cineplex Rise of the Beasts promotional stuff. Yeah, so sadly Canada didn't get any fancy uh, Optimus Prime heads that light up that are also popcorn buckets, or Optimus Prime trucks with rolling wheels that are also popcorn buckets and straw holders and cups somehow? Yeah, we didn't get any crazy stuff like that, but we did get a few things here. Also, first of all, I will just say Rise of the Beast is a really good movie. Watch it. Anyways, we have right here, so we have um, three things. We have a popcorn bucket, cup, and a little topper that you can't really see because I do not have enough uh, filming space here to actually show this all. So we'll start off with the bucket here. So this is pretty nice. So it is like a tin popcorn bucket Rise of the Beast, so you have... Of course, Primal on the front. These are all, um, like, raised, which is neat. You get Cheetor, Primal, uh, and Bumblebee. Sadly, none of these have uh, Pablo on them, so 0 out of 10. Yeah, so it's just a pretty nice bucket. The back has this pretty cool design of, you know, the Autobot symbol, and then around it has some, like, ancient drawings, or I don't know what these are called, but they are of some characters, such as, like, Rat Trap and stuff. Uh, of course, barely any of these are actually in the film. Oh, the Maximals are featured themselves rarely in the film, but it does still look really awesome, like, glowing green light behind it. You can see the inside. It is just a popcorn bucket that is made out of tin. I don't really eat popcorn that much, so in terms of uh, uses for this, I don't know, you could, like, stick a Robocop in there, I guess. He has a home now. Yeah, so it's just, like, a neat little popcorn bucket. Next up, we have uh, the drink to go with popcorn. You get a cup here. So this is similar to the bucket in terms of its design. So right here we get uh, that same design scene on the bucket of like the Autobot symbol, all drawings around it. Really wish Rat Trap was actually in the movie. That would have been awesome, maybe for the sequel. And then it says Transformers Rise of the Beasts, only in theaters. Or actually, right on the um, bucket here it says it's only in theaters. Here it says only in cinemas. So change it up a bit. You know, it's pretty nice design here. And then on the other side it is the same thing. And again, it's overall just a very nice looking cup. This is, of course, not tin. It's just uh, plastic. It's quite flexible feeling plastic, too. But I do like the kind of uh, metallic sheen this all has to it. It looks very nice. And there is no straw included, I think. I don't know. But then the final thing we get, it's already attached to the cup. And I actually can't get it off. Can I? Nope, I can. Okay. And it is Prime. So... Ton of stuff just fell over, but anyways, this was actually the main reason uh, I went for this. It's funny, I actually, because I didn't see the movie uh, at Cineplex, uh, a different theater, so I basically just went out there today because I wanted to get some of this theater promotional stuff. And the only one I knew about was actually uh, this Prime here, and of course, um, so there are two others. These are basically little toppers for the cups, and the other ones they had were uh, RC and Bumblebee, and of course I chose Prime because... It's prime. Man, yeah, it looks very nice. So it's basically just a little um, statue here, and thankfully, he is not completely cast in this clear plastic. That's just for that little um, stand up there. But the thing that I find uh, really interesting about these three cake toppers, or not cake toppers, uh, cup toppers we got, are that their pose is identical to that of all of the control art they use. You can see prime right there in that running pose. So this one, and it's the same with Bumblebee and RC, of course. Bumblebee's right there. RC isn't really on any of this, so we can't really compare. But it's kind of cool to get these little physical representations of those control art poses. Now, at first glance, this does look very much just like G1 Optimus, and when you get in closer, you can see this is, in fact, the Rise of the Beast Prime. He has all the specific details, although Rise of the Beast Prime is already really similar to G1 Prime in the first place. But he definitely has a lot more, uh, like, vibrant colors and colors in general to the Rise of the Beast design. But he actually has, like, a lot more paint than I was expecting. Uh, the legs are entirely cast in, like, blue plastic. But then we get uh, some black for the wheels, which is very surprising. Um, some gray for the front of the thighs. The sides, back, and everything. They don't get any. And then for the upper body, it's cast in red. And I'm not quite sure how they were able to actually pull that off. Because it seems like it's all just one part. Uh, yeah, so mostly red here. We get some more of that gray for his hands. And then some of the blue... Uh, for his windows, which is color-matched very nicely to the legs, because, again, I 
don't think this is paint right here. It seems like plastic. So it is color matched quite nicely. And of course, some more blue for his head, gray for his mask. And then uh, something you might not have noticed is his midriff is actually painted in black. You don't really see it because it's kind of like crunched there. That's pretty neat to notice, although you can see, looks like his back is kind of flexing. But you can see, you can really see on the back here, there is a ton of detail crammed into this little guy. The plastic color kind of washes it out. And at first glance, especially in all, like the one low-res image we have of these, it looks like he does lack a ton of detail, but no, quite detailed. Even look at like the uh, forearms here. He has all the movie accurate detail. Even his smokestacks aren't actually like cut down a ton for safety reasons, because I guess they're angled inward, so it's harder to jab your eyeball out with them. I mean, overall, this Prime does look very nice. It's just a fun little statue of Optimus. As for some size comparisons, here he is with the Rise of the Beasts mainline Voyager Optimus Prime and Studio Series Core Class RC. And see, it's actually like pretty decent size compared to a Core Class. They're about the same size. That's pretty neat. That's what he actually does. This is uh, pretty neat. So, you get your cup right here. I'm gonna have to like hold the camera for this. This is not gonna be fun. But, let's use my uh, super jittery hands. You get your Prime right here. And you basically plonk him uh, onto the top. You can have him oriented so he's staring at like where the straw would go or actually in position with uh, the front. I prefer the straw thing. So, yeah. Very tricky to do with one hand. Get that lined. And then you can just push it down. Uh, I will warn you, it's quite tricky to get him out. Like, it's very tight fit. It feels like you're going to rip the figure off the base, which is not fun. But once you get him on there, that actually looks... Quite nice, so you can just look awesome sipping uh, whatever drinks in your cup, and you have your tiny little prime there just staring back. Yeah, so overall, it's oh, I can't fit it in the frame. All right, I'm gonna have to keep holding the camera for this. That's not fun. But anyways, uh, it's a pretty nice set. You get, of course, popcorn bucket, cup, and prime. Uh, you are also you do also get uh, like of course popcorn to go in here, uh, candy, and I think you also get actual you know liquid to put in your cup. But of course, I'm not reviewing that here because that's not really Rise of the Beasts specific. Yeah, so like I was saying, this is overall a pretty nice set. And of course, it is not as cool as uh, the aforementioned, uh, you know, like Truck and Optimus Prime Head. But it's still pretty neat. I think we're lucky at all that Hasbro even acknowledged Canada in the first place. And yeah, so if you're basically, if you're not in Canada, you're not going to be able to get this without having to pay like eBay scalper prices. I mean, the theater already kind of feel like they're scalping this. This whole set is like 30 bucks, which is a bit much. But I'd say it is still fun. Anyways, that's it for my review of the Rise of the Beast Cineplex exclusive movie promotional items. That's not the actual name, I just made that up. If you liked the video, then give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, then don't. Yeah, bye. How the hell did I manage to ramble on about a cup? a bucket, and an Optimus Prime statue for seven minutes.